Welcome, here I've got Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G and I'm gonna show you how to use the camera promote at this device. So let's start by tapping on the camera button to open it. And for now we are on standard photo mode, so we have to change it. Let's do it by using this settings bar and just simply going to the right to more. Here we get access to more modes of this camera, one of them is the Pro, so let's pick it. Here we are, this mode gives us possibilities to choose some shooting parameters by ourselves. This is useful when we want to learn photographic skills or making experiments with photography. So let me start with this settings bar. Let's go from the left. The first one option here is the ISO, so we can change camera sensitivity to light. As you can see we get access to the slider. By going to the left we can start with 50 and make our camera less sensitive. By going to the right we can make it more sensitive to 3 and 2000 of it. So this is wide spectrum like uh, in the really professional camera. And of course we can easily go back to auto ISO by tapping now on this manual button from the right so it changes to the auto. Now let's move to the second option, the shooter speed. Here we can change the time of taking picture. By using the slider and going to the left we can make it shorter. The shortest here is 1 and 6000 of second and it is really short, it should be definitely better to objects, for example in move, to frozen them at the picture with a good light. By going to the right on the slider we can make our time longer and the longest here is 10 seconds, so this should be better to objects that are stable. And of course we can easily go back again to auto shooter speed by tapping on manual button from the right. Now let's move to the third option, the exposure compensation. Here we can manage the light of our picture and we have different slider at the center we have zero parameters. By going to the right on it we can make our picture more bright, by going to the left we can make it more dark. To go back to auto exposure compensation we have to slide to the center. And now let me show you one thing connected with the exposure compensation when we add just shooter speed uh, manually the exposure compensation button is locked because shooter speed together with ISO are kind of advanced light managing and when we use this we don't need this exposure compensation button because this is only basic way to manage the light of our picture so if you want to use this on the basic level you have to stay on the shooter speed uh, on manual uh, sorry on auto settings so remember about it and now let's move to the next one option the focusing we are on AF from autofocus by using this slider we can change it to MF to manual focus and as you can see this is how to use it when we adjust it correctly and uh, tap a little bit longer on the slider, we can see these green signs that shows us the areas of our photo that are focused. So this is a really useful thing here. And of course we can easily go back to autofocus by tapping on this manual button from the right. Now let's move to the next one option, the white balance. Here we can manage the temperature of our picture in Kelvin degrees. So this is kind of balance between the warm and cold tones of our photo. By going to the left on this slider we can make our picture more cold, more blue. By going to the right we can make it more warm, more orange. So this is how to use it. And of course we can easily go back to auto by tapping again on manual button from the right. And now let's move to the last one, option standard. When we tap here we get access to a few other buttons and here we have really cool thing because by using them we can create kind of filter that we can add before we take a picture. So these are really pro things here. We can add just the contrast of our photo. By going to the right we can make it more contrasted. By going to the left we can make it less contrasted. At the center we have zero, so the auto settings. And next one here is the highlight. So we can adjust the parts of our picture that are highlighted and make them more or less highlighted by using this slider and going to the right or left as you can see. Now let's move to the third one here, the shadows. So here we can change the shadowed, uh, pic um, shadowed parts of our pictures and also make them more or less shadowed as you can see. 
and here also we have saturation so we can adjust the intensity of colors at the photo and we can make them more intense or less intense by going to kind of black and white so also this is really cool thing and useful and the last one parameter here is the tint so the balance between pink and green color at our photo let me show you by going to the right we can add more pink to our picture by going to the left we can add more greens uh, so uh, I really like these parameters because uh, they are really professional here and after managing all of the settings manually let me adjust them like that we don't have to separately go back to auto settings we can do it at once so when we slide a little bit to the left on this settings bar we have access to reset button and now when we tap here we can reset all of these parameters to start using them from the beginning and now let's move to this settings bar i want to show you the right corner button here we can also pick the metering only in promote from center weighted to matrix and also to the spot one so you can stay what on whatever you need now let me pick for example this one and let me adjust the settings to take a photo so maybe ISO here the shooter speed here as I said the exposure compensation now is locked because we use ISO and the shooter speed together the focusing let's stay on auto and a little bit warmer now let's move to the standard more contrast more highlights more shadows maybe and more uh, intensity of the colors and maybe a little bit more pink to see my photo let's move to the left to the button that follows us straight to the gallery so uh, this is how it looks like it's not perfect but i suggest you to make an experiment with all of the settings and just have a good fun thanks for watching subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up